Okay. Uh, activity 1, how do you visualize decimals? So, 3 tenths, 5 tenths, and 4 tenths. Okay. So, 3 tenths. So, how do you visualize decimal using the tenths? So, draw 10 tenths. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So, this is 3 tenths. Just color 3 parts. Okay, and that is represent 3 tenths. Okay, how do you visualize 5 tenths using number line? Okay, draw a number line and divide it into 10. So from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, since we are visualizing 5 tenths, so from here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And that is 5 tenths. Okay, how do you visualize uh, 4 tenths using a grid? Okay, so draw 10, okay, and divide it into 10 parts. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and then shade it 4 parts. 1, 2, 3, it's how we are going to do the activity 1.1. Okay, activity 2.2 is all about write each amount using the peso sign. Okay, how do we write 50 centavos using the peso sign? So write the peso sign P, tapos nagin ng line na dalawa, okay, and that is 0 0.50. And it is read as 50 centavos. Okay, 25 centavos, again, the peso sign, then 0 0.25. And that is 25 centavos. Okay, how about 5 pesos and 85 centavos? Okay, so that is peso sign, 5 pesos, and use as a decimal point, and then 85 centavos. So this is read as 5 pesos and 85 centavos. Okay, so activity 3 is all we are going to write this fraction in decimal form. As we said, the meaning of decimal is um, changing another way of changing fraction with a power of 10. Okay, so 310 is equal to so look at how many zeros. Just move one place to the left. Okay, so it will become 0.3 or 3 tenths. 3 tenths is equal to 3 tenths. This is how you read 3 tenths. Okay, now 600, since there are two zeros, move 2 to the left. 1, 2. Okay, so you have to add zeros. So it becomes 0 0.06. Or it is read as six hundreds. So tens, hundreds, six hundreds. Okay, so it is uh, binabasa siya na uh, you're going to read the number and then indicate the place value. So six, ten hundreds, six hundreds. Okay, so in this case, four fifths, make it a power of ten. So yung decimal daw yung power of ten. So kung mumultiply yung five para maging one hundred. So, I multiply it by 20. Then, I multiply also the numerator by 20. So, 4 times 20 will become 80. And 5 times 20 will become 100. Okay. So, in decimal, 4 feet is equal to move 2 places kasi dalawa yung 0, 1, 2. Okay. So, the answer is 0 0.80 or 80 hundredths. Okay, so 15 over 20. So, kung mo multiply yung 20 na denominator para magi 100. I multiply it by 5. I multiply it by 5 also the numerator. So, 15 times 5 will give you, okay, correct, it is 75. And 20 times 5 will give you 100. Okay, so paano natin gagawin decimal? Move two places kasi dalawa yung 0. 1, 2. And it becomes 75 hundredths. 
So 15 over 20 is equal to 75 over 100. And then 625, so kayo mo-multiply para maging 100 yung denominator. Multiply ko sa 4, multiply ko sa 4. Okay, 6 times 4 is equal to 24. 25 times 4 will give you 100. So it, again, there are two zeros. Move two places to the left. 1, 2. So the answer is 0 0.24 or it is read as 24 hundredths. Okay, so hindi siya binabasa ng 0 point. Binabasa siya as 24 hundredths. That's hundredths, 24 hundredths. Okay, another way of changing 4 fifth, another uh, technique, pwede rin naman na i-divide yung 4 by 5. Like this. 4, your numerator will become your dividend, and 5 your divisor. So 4 divided by 5 cannot be, so it is 0. 0 times 5 is 0. Okay, 4 minus 0 is 4. So para maging decimal, you have to add decimal point and 0. So bring down 0. So you have now 40. So 40 divided by 5, okay, is 8. But don't forget to write the decimal point aligned with the dividend. And yes, the dividend nyo may, may, may decimal point on sa inyong quotient. I-align nyo lang katapat nun. So 40 divided by 5 is 8. 8 times 5 is 40. And that is 0. Okay. So, yung kanina, mas madali kasi gagawin lang natin power of 10 yung, yung um, fraction para mas madali siyang i-convert or i-change sa decimal. So, since this is 5, anong mumultiply natin para maging 100 yung kanyang denominator? So, times 220. So, times din natin yung 20 yung uh, numerator. Okay, so 4 times 20 will give us 80. And 5 times 20 will give you 100. So, dalawa yung zeros natin. So, mas madali tayong mag-change ng decimal. So, mag-move lang tayo ng 2 places to the left. Depende kung ilan ang zero. So, there are 2 zeros, 2 zeros to the left. 1, 2. And it becomes 0 0.80. Okay, 0 0.80 and 0 0.8 is equal. Ayan. Parehas lang siya. Okay. So, 0, 0, same. Decimal point, decimal point, same. 8, 8, parehas na. So, kahit wala siyang 0 sa dulo, parehas lang siya. There, there are equal. Kahit na pwede mo lang ganyan, pwede hindi. Okay. So, parehas lang siya. 80 or 0 0.8 or 8 tenths or 80 hundredths is the same. They are equal. Okay, activity 4 is all about changing decimal to fractions. So, 3 tenths is equal to 3 over 10. Okay. So, this is read as 9 hundredths. Tenths, hundredths. So, that is 9 hundredths. So, ang denominator niya is 100. 9 hundredths. Okay. 8 tenths. Okay, 8 tenths. So, 8 ten. Pag isang decimal, 10 ang denominator. Pag dalawang decimal, hundreds. Okay, so since this is 8 ten, pwede pa natin siyang i-reduce to lowest term. Divide by their GCF, which is 2. 8 divided by 2 is 4. 10 divided by 2 is 5. So, the answer is 4 fifths. Okay, 9 hundreds, 3 tenths. Okay, this is 25 hundredths. So, 25 over 100. Okay, so, this is not yet in lowest term. So, in lowest term natin siya, divided by the GCF 25. And the answer is 25 divided by 25 is 1. 100 divided by 25 is 4. So, the answer is 1 fourth. Okay. Activity 5 is all about salt and check. Tignan natin siya. 3 tenths is equal to, how do you read this? That is 3 tenths. So, this is correct. Okay, 7 tenths is equal to, how do you read this? Tenths hundred, that is 7 hundredths. Okay, so hindi siya equal. So, pag isa lang ang 0, dapat isa lang ang 
it is 7 tenths, but this is 7 hundredths. So, it is wrong. 6 over 25 is equal to 25 hundredths. Tignan natin kung tama. Make this, this uh, our uh, denominator a power of 10 by multiplying in it by 4. Multiply din natin ng 4 yung numerator. Okay. So, 6 times 24, ah, 6 times 4 is equal to 24. Dito ko na lagay, ha? Okay. And then, 25 times 4 is equal to 100. Ngayon, i-change na natin siya sa decimal. So, there are two zeros, meaning move two places to the left two, two times. Okay. So, it becomes 24 hundredths. So, 625 is equal to 24 hundredths and not 25 hundredths. So, this is wrong. Okay, activity 6 is all about read and answers. Okay, so let us read the problem. Jaden bought 25 hundredths kilogram of fish, right? 25 hundredths kilograms in fraction. So, let us write 25 hundreds in fraction that is 25 over 100 okay since 25 over 100 is not yet in those term divide natin sa kanyang DCF okay divide natin sa 25 25 divided by 25 is equal to 1 100 divided by 25 is equal to 4 so the answer is 1 4 the answer is 1 4. Okay, number 2 problem. Anna bought 1 4 kilogram of sugar. Write 1 4 kilogram in decimal form. So 1 4. Okay, so sabi ko sa inyo, mas madali kung siya isusulat in the power of 10. Oh, power of 100 or power of 10. So sa natin mo multiply yung 4 para maging 100. So multiply natin sa. Okay, 25. Multiply din yung 1 sa 25. Okay. 1 times 25 is equal to 25. Okay, 4 times 25 is equal to 100. Okay, so power of 10 na siya. On power of 10 na siya, that's 100. Okay, so there are two zeros. Move two zeros to the left. 1, 2. And the answer is 25. Hundred. So the answer is... In decimal form, 1 fourth is equal to 25 hundredths. Okay, so another another way, pwede rin naman natin siyang uh, i-divide. Okay, so that is 1 divided by 4. Okay, 1 divided by 4 is 0. 0 times 4 is 0. Okay, bring down, a 1 minus 0 is 1, add decimal point and 0. So let us put the decimal point above the quotient and bring down 0. 10 divided by 4 is 2, 2 times 4 is 8, 10 minus 8 is 2. Okay, add another 0, bring down 0. 20 divided by 4 is equal to 5, 5 times 4 is, yan, dito na sa ilalim, that's 20. And pag sinaptract mo, 20 minus 20 is 0. So the same, it is 2500. Okay, how are you going to read and write decimal numbers? So reading and writing decimal numbers. So in symbols, 0 0.3 is read as 3 tenths. So hindi natin mabasahin ng 0 0.3, but it is, it is 3 tenths. So in words, 3 tenths. So after the decimal point, Ang kanyang place value is tens, hundreds, thousands. So, nag ends sa THS. Okay. There are two decimal places. 24. So, babasahin natin as like as reading as whole number. 24. And then sa huli, yung kanyang place value. Ten hundreds. So, that is 24 hundreds. 24 hundreds. The THS. Okay. So, this one is a mixed decimal. This is a read as a whole number. 5, yung decimal is read as n. 5 and. No. 5 and. Then read as whole number. 32. Then place value hundreds. 
So, 5 and 32 hundredths. So, in words, 5 and 32 hundredths. So, yung decimal, binabasa as n. 